Hi, welcome to the latest um, in this short series of videos about Irish church records. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Irish Presbyterian records. So let's go straight to the site and um, get stuck in. Hi, right, here we are at the current homepage. Um, pretty much everything I'm going to be saying is here in the browse section, which is free. Let me repeat again and again. If you go to church records, Presbyterian records, and this, this has everything that more or less everything that I'm going to be saying today. Um, the, the, the first thing to keep in mind about Presbyterian records is that they're very different to Catholic records or to Church of Ireland, Anglican, Episcopalian records, in that there is no parish structure. Okay, there is no hierarchy of authority. Um, the basic unit of the church is the congregation. So that the, the authority rests with the congregation, not with the clergy. Um, and that there are a few, um, this is admirably democratic. It's one of the reasons why they were such good, such enthusiastic um, followers of the, the, the American Revolution, for example. Um, the, the, the notion that individuals have their own relationship with God and um, they come together as a congregation to celebrate that and they don't need clergy to tell them how to think or what to, how to pray. So that's the, the basic guiding fact about Presbyterianism. The upshot of that is twofold as far as the records are concerned. First of all, um, congregations can be quite uh, temporary. Um, you know, people disagree about doctrine and they go and decide they're going to set up another congregation. So you very often, in, even in small country villages, small towns in Ireland, you will have, the, the, you know, the first Presbyterian church, the second Presbyterian church, the third Presbyterian church. So again, in identifying what um, congregation is relevant for your answers, that can be a problem. Um, and the, the second problem is that because there is no um, overarching uh, hierarchical authority that can tell the congregations what to do, they own their own records. So each congregation is in charge of its own records and each congregation decides whether they want to um, have the historic records in the Public Record Office in Northern Ireland, in Belfast, or in the Presbyterian Historical Society, or hold on to them, or allow somebody to transcribe them. But the decisions are all made congregation by congregation, which means that for the big transcribing um, organisations like Ancestry.com, like the LDS Church, like um, Roots Ireland, um, they have to deal congregation by congregation, which means that they tend to go for the, the ones where they can get blanket permission first and the congregations come second. So congregate, um, Presbyterian records are a bit less well served by the transcription sites than, um, than Catholics and um, Church of Ireland. Um, that much said, they are um, pretty good. The Presbyterians were a, a, a majority in the northeast of Ireland from the, the 17th century on. So Antrim down, parts of Tyrone, parts of County Derry, stroke Londonderry, parts of County Armagh. Um, and in those areas, they, they, the congregations go right back into the 18th century, some into the 17th century. Unfortunately, the record keep, the lack of central authority meant there was no obligation to preserve the records. So very few Presbyterian congregations have records going back further than the, the, um, the mid 18th century. Um, that's, that's one thing. So where are you going to get the records? Well, um, the single biggest repository is the Public Record Office of Northern Ireland. Okay. Um, the, the Public Record Office of Northern Ireland has a policy of going out and microfilming or making copies of or um, accessing actual originals of all the, the, the Presbyterian records in what's now Northern Ireland and also in what used to be um, the, the province of Ulster. So the counties of Donegal, Cavan, Monaghan, which are now in the, the Republic, but are historically part of Ulster, the province of Ulster, and also some of the, the northernish counties like Louth, Leitrim and so on, where there were plenty, plenty of Presbyterians historically. And after partition in 1921, um, they tended, those congregations tended to melt away. They tended to look to Belfast as their capital. If the records were to be put somewhere, the records tend to, tended to go to Belfast rather than to the public record office in Dublin or to um, local 
local libraries and so on. So the Public Record Office of Northern Ireland is the first place to look. And they have a very good um, uh, guide to, a very good guide to um, all the, the, the records that they own. It's a guide to church records. So civil parish by civil parish, and they give lots and lots of details of Presbyterian records, um, of the, the dates covered, um, and so on and so forth. Um, on this site, on my site, one of the things I do, again, county by county, um, is, for example, um, is the, the church records. So you here you have church records. You can pick Presbyterian churches. And here is a complete list of all the Presbyterian congregations that I know of, okay, um, caveat, in, in Antrim, the title, the years covered, the location, the reference, and so on and so forth. Um, so again, like other, like the Catholic records, Methodist records, Church of Ireland records, different places have different transcripts covering different years. So it's always good to be able to get an overview in case somebody missed one register and you can find it somewhere else. So that's, that's the whole point of this. Um, you can also filter this by repository. So if you want to see what the Public Record Office of Northern Ireland has, that's their holdings. If you want to see um, what is online, um, these are nearly, these are all Roots Ireland um, uh, transcripts. So again, you get an overview. If you go into the, the local um, local areas as well, you could get a, a, a guide to what Presbyterian records are there. Um, the other thing is the Presbyterian Historical Society of Ireland. Um, they have a fair collection of original records. You have to visit them to, to research them, but they've now done this as well. They, they've taken the advantage, taken advantage of the COVID-19 lockdown to produce resources. So there are guides for Antrim, Armagh, Belfast, Cavan, Down, Fermanagh, Derry, Monaghan and Tyrone. Um, so guides to all the congregations that were there. Um, where the records are, how you get access to them and so forth. You have to sign up, but if you have Presbyterian ancestors, you should probably sign up anyway. So that's PresbyterianHistoryIreland.com. Um, there is a, a, a guide to it um, on the site in the, the Presbyterian records section here. You can see the Presbyter PresbyterianHistoryIreland.com. Um, um, <clears throat> there's also... The Presbyterian Historical Society are also very good on um, Presbyterian clergymen, which is a sort of a subsection of, of church records. Um, as I said, for online transcripts, the biggest single collection is on rootsireland.ie. There, there are transcripts made by um, the Roots Ireland Centre that covers Antrim and Down, which is the Ulster Historical Foundation. Um, and they have a, a, a particularly good um, uh, collection there historically they were the Ulster Scott Historical Foundation so they have a, a, a strong connection to Presbyterianism um, and there's also um, recently their, their director of research William Rolston has published a book to re researching Presbyterian ancestors in Ireland which is everything you need to know about Presbyterians so instead of listening to me talking on the video you should go off and buy William Rolston's book OK, um, I hope I've given you a, at least an introduction to the records in this. And I, once again, I wish you um, the best of luck, in, luck in, in, in chasing down Presbyterian ancestors. They can be quite elusive. OK, best of luck to you.